Hello, this is Deborah Matthews, Vicar of Verwood, with my thought for today. January isn't my favourite month of the year. It always seems to drag on for ages. Although I can see why it's my granddaughter's favourite, as it's her birthday month. And when you're six, that makes January the best month of the year. When I was young, January always seemed to bring some snow to play in, and that helped to add a bit of excitement to the month. In those days, many more years than half a century ago, my year was punctuated by school holidays, and that's what gave structure to the year. I still love holidays, and courtesy of an online app, I was on a countdown in early January leading up to our four-night cruise. Most clergy have a break after the busyness of Christmas, and I was certainly looking forward to a few days off. The cruise was mostly at sea, with one stop in Hamburg, but I didn't really mind where it was taking me. It was the journey and the rest and the relaxation away from my study, which was so appealing. But 48 hours before we were due to sail, the cruise was cancelled, which was very disappointing. But I know that I am in company with so many other people who have had holidays cancelled over the past two years. I think that we all tend to invest ourselves in the next big, exciting thing happening in our lives. And we keep going with it in our sights, allowing it to be the thing that gives us energy and resilience. And it becomes the goal that will keep us focused until we can stop and have a rest. But life can bring disappointments. So we have to find ways to keep on being positive when things don't turn out the way that we have planned. So we have to look for the good news of the day. I don't advise looking in the papers or on the media to find it. But there is good news all around us and looking for it each day in itself helps us to be much more positive. Always look on the bright side of life is not necessarily easy, but it reminds me of Monty Python's Life of Brian and that always makes me smile. Even the difficult things in life, the hurts and the failures can be opportunities for growth teaching us how to deal with disappointments. So, en avant, as my mother used to say to me, probably words she inherited from her French grandmother, but she encouraged us all to carry on and to take the next steps forward. For those who believe in him, Jesus the Christ is the good news. And both testaments in the Bible are filled with accounts of wisdom and life stories of how people dealt with all their joys and sorrows and worries. And I find this verse from Matthew's Gospel in the Message Version of the Bible to be most helpful. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now and don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. And I think that that's just what Mary and Joseph did after they had taken Jesus to be presented in the temple. This would have been an exciting occasion, probably one that they would have looked forward to as they prepared to present their baby boy to God. What they didn't expect was that Simeon, the elderly priest and the prophet Anna, would tell them that their baby was the one they had been waiting for. And then they prophesied about Jesus' destiny for the future of Israel, which would in time break Mary's heart. This revelation to Mary of the identity and purpose of her tiny baby must have filled her with dread. 
she had come with excitement and joy and must have left with bewilderment and fear for the future. But Mary and Joseph returned home and got on with life and brought up their little boy in Nazareth, finding great joy in their son and continuing to observe their faith in God. And today we give thanks for Mary's child, who reveals to us God's light to enlighten our hearts. Whatever life brings, we can trust that Jesus is always the good news for us. Take care, have a good week and God bless.